As Congress discusses another round of stimulus checks this week, it's still unclear just how much it could be and who will even receive that money. But new U.S. Census data from July shows just how the last stimulus money was spent by Texans. CBS 19's Peyton Whiteman breaks it down for us. It's been four months since the first stimulus check started hitting bank accounts. And largely, it appears the money was spent how the government intended. According to data from the U.S. Census Household Poll Survey, generally, Americans spent the most on groceries. So let's look at how Texans used their stimulus. The numbers show a majority used the money for food, household supplies, and to pay utilities. Only about 8% used the check to pay off debt or put it into savings. No surprise here, age, education level, and income impacted how people chose to spend their money. People 18 to 24 spent the least on expenses, with just 7% of them using the extra money for bills, as opposed to 22% of people 25 to 39. The percent of individuals using the money on expenses also increased as a person's education level increased. A person with some college or an associate's degree was more likely to use the stimulus on essentials. Across the state, 33% of households who earned less than $75,000 reported using the money on expenses. Meanwhile, 19% of households making more than that spent it the same. We've got you covered, East Texas. Peyton Weidman, CBS 19. Now, depending on how negotiations shake out, the total amount your family could receive with the next stimulus check could vary. The Senate's last day in session is tomorrow, and the next session for both chambers will not start until September.